Hello, Bilish Kavava here with another Hearthstone video. Posting new videos every two days, so if you like what you see, if you like what you hear, why not subscribe to the channel? Because it really does help. And I want to thank the subscribers who are already subscribed. So today we have something a bit different. It's a Hearthstone video, and every time the meta shakes up, something goes wrong, and nerfs hit Hearthstone. This isn't the first time that cards have to be nerfed, and it won't be the last time. For some reason, usually cards come in, Blizzard tries to fix it with self-correcting meta, and then a couple of cards stand out over all the other ones, and they have to be nerfed, and usually when they get nerfed, they get nerfed into obliv oblivion and are never seen from again. That's how Blizzard nerfs cards, they nerf cards to never see play ever again, and the nerfs that have come out right now, well, some will never see play again, some will continue to see play. There's a mixed bag here, but let's get into it. Four cards have been nerfed. They're going to be nerfed in February. For everyone that's thinking of disenchanting these cards, do not disenchant these cards. Wait until the nerf hits, because you will have two weeks to get full dust value back from them. So I applaud everyone, anyone who watches this video, anyone who's thinking of disenchanting these cards. Do not, because you will get full crafting materials back. So just keep that in mind. Do not disenchant them right now. Wait for the nerfs to hit. So let's start off with the first one and possibly the least controversial one. It's Bone Mare. It's been moved from a 7 cost to an 8 cost. It still does the same thing. It's still a 5-5. Five five. When you play it, Battle Cry, give a friendly minion plus 4 plus 4 and taunt. Still a powerful card. It's still a powerful card. And I still see Bone Mare being played in some decks. Probably not all decks. Maybe it will disappear a little bit, but it's still a very powerful card. It still has a massive impact on Arena, massive impact on Constructed, and they clearly didn't want to dis completely destroy this card, so they've just moved it up. It makes it worse, of course, but I almost see this as an, a nerf, same as Spreading Plague. So, Spreading Plague was a 5 cost card, it went up to 6 cost, and it still sees play in Druid. And I see this kind of nerf happening here with Bone Mare. It gets pushed to 8 cost. Of course, it makes the card worse, but it doesn't make the card completely unplayable. It doesn't completely destroy the card. People will still play Bone Mare. It's still a very good card, and it will still be at the backbone of most budget decks. People who can't afford to open hundreds and hundreds of packs and have everything, Bone Mare will still be a viable option, and it's still a good card. The next one, a card that I can feel that has been kind of nerfed and probably won't see any more play, it's Corridor Creeper. So Corridor Creeper was a 7 cost mana, 5-5 five, five beast, costs less for each minion that dies, yours or your opponent's, doesn't matter. Well now it's a 7 cost, 2-5, so they've reduced it, its attack down from 5 to 2. This makes it considerably worse, and almost makes it probably not going to see that much play. Now I'd, I hesitate to say that it's going to see no play, because still a free 2-5 beast is still a free 2-5 beast. You're still going to want to play a free card. The only difference is, is that now it doesn't impact the board as much when it does come out. You can't play it, let's say, on 2 cost mana or 3 cost, or if you top deck it. Before you top decked it, it was a 7 cost 5-5, five five. now it's a 7 cost 2-5, considerably worse, of course. A 6 mana 2-5, much worse. Can't really trade up with anything, now can only attack basically 2 cost minions or very weak 3 cost minions. Makes the card considerably worse. Almost pushes this card into being a Hunter exclusive card right now because Hunter will rely on this card. It is a beast and it still synergizes well with, let's say, Houndmaster. can still be a four attack minion with Houndmaster. But really, it's not looking good for Corridor Creeper. Hesitate to say it's completely dead, but being this much weaker, if it was a three, three attack, five, maybe it would still see a lot of play. But at two, doesn't trade very well when it comes out. Terrible top deck now. It was a bad top deck before, but now it's completely completely atrocious for 7 mana 2-5. I think Corridor Creeper's days are pretty much numbered and they're pretty much gone. So, Corridor Creeper, not looking good. The next card, well, this card has been completely destroyed, disenchanted, it's going to be worth nothing. And that, of course, is Patches the Pirate. So if you've played Hearthstone this past year, Patches has been everywhere. The Pirate package has been every everywhere. Patches the Pirate with South Sea Captain become such a powerful combo. It basically made South Sea uh, Captain the best 3-drop because it got you a free 2-2 two -two charger and got it out of your deck. Fantastic. Now, the card's pretty much worthless. 
it was a bad top deck before. If you decked and actually drew patches, it was terrible because it was a 1-1 with charge. But now it's even worse. Now it's a 1-1 that does nothing. It can't even tr trade with a quick charge. So terrible draw now, even worse than before. Now it's the worst draw imaginable. You're basically just getting a 1-1, no charge or anything. So it made that considerably worse, but also made the board presence, because patches was used not to go face. It was mostly used to trade up, destroy minions with Kalisef, of course, Prince Kalisef, play it, draw it out with um, South Sea Deckhand, then you get a 3-3 Charger with Rogue, was very good, and it really evolved. Patches actually really evolved, because it started off being completely aggro-oriented with Pirate Warrior, but then Pirate Warrior went away. Once Fiery War Axe was nerfed, Pir Pirate Warrior died. There's no Pirate Warrior now. Pirate Warrior has been dead for around three months. It's a dead, it's a dead deck. But Patches did see a lot of play in Rogue. I've seen Shaman play it. I've seen Priest play it. Of course, Hunter started to play it because they got the candle shot weapon. So there was a lot of patches going around. So much so that Galaka Corolla was made to counter the pirates. But now patches won't see play. The only place I see patches ever seen play again is in Wild with Ship's Cannon. Still has some synergy with Ship's Cannon. But besides that, patches is completely dead. And it's also another nerf to Corridor Creeper. Because Corridor Creeper, the only reason Corridor Creeper was so insane was because of patches. You could play out your patches, trade a patches for a patches, trade this for that. Corridor Creeper becomes really cheap. Now you, can re you can't really trade patches straight away. Corridor Creeper might not be in your hand. You can't, you can't really do it as easy as you can. So it's actually a nerf, another nerf for Corridor Creeper. So Corridor Creeper basically got double nerfed because it itself got nerfed and also patches got nerfed, hurting Corridor Creeper. It's over for patches. It's 100% over. If you have patches, which I'm sure everyone has patches, anyone who watches this video, anyone who plays Hearthstone has patches, because patches is everywhere, you can pretty much say goodbye to patches. Patches is gone. Forget patches. And the final card, Raza the Chained. The all-powerful legendary priest card, which basically made your hero power cost zero if you had no duplicates. Very powerful with the hero card, Anduin the dark one. Well, now it doesn't make your hero power cost zero anymore. It makes it cost one. Considerably worse, but does that completely destroy the card? I'm not really sure. It really hurts the card, but I've seen Razakas Priest do crazy combos with Velen, this guy out there, Kazakas still there. I've seen him do crazy combo. I've seen him hit off like 20, 30 damage in one turn. Doesn't make the card worse. Doesn't make the deck worse. Of course it does. They can't just keep recycling and get it for free and just cycle, 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 cycle and just keep hitting your face. Now they're, they're actually wasting mana. But does it completely kill it? I don't know. Would I keep this card? No. I still 100% suggest that everyone disenchant all these four cards, get your full dust back, which I'm extremely happy because I have three Corridor Creepers and a Golden uh, Raza, the chain. So disenchanting both of them, disenchanting Patches, disenchanting my two Bone Mares, getting the, the dust back and really evaluating what the meta does and then if I require any of these cards recrafting them that's the best thing I suggest that everyone does because it is the smartest way to get dust so now that these cards are being nerfed what does this mean for the overall meta well I'll tell you right now I hope you like playing warlock because warlock is going to be top top dog top dog no problem at all it was already a completely strong deck with void lord with the lackey with the cube lock very strong with silence being very weak it was extremely strong and it didn't get hit at all maybe you got hit with the corridor creeper but really they didn't really run corridor creeper so doom guard with the cube lock is going to be tier one 100 so i hope you like playing warlock until the next rotation because warlock is going to be completely strong and even after the rotation warlock might still be top dog unless we get some strong silence a class gets strong silence that can counter the cube because most of the cards in cube lock aren't rotating in fact none of them are so get used to playing a lot of warlock get used to seeing a lot of warlock priest is going to rotate most of these cards so Razaka's priest is going to end anyway in a couple of months two months or three so that's about it pirates are gone patches is dead but cube lock my god that is going to be the top dog and nothing can stop it right now some cards that i think that i was hoping or thinking they might get um nerfed 
were were the cubes. I thought the cube might get nerfed. I thought maybe Void Lord or the Lackey might get nerfed uh, because getting a Void Lord out on turn six is incredibly strong, especially with the cube. And also, I thought maybe the Spiteful Summoner might have gotten a nerf because there's a lot of shenanigans going on with her. Well, uh, at turn six, she can draw out like a Yasha Raj in Spiteful Summoner Priest. I've seen her in Druid. Seen her in a bunch of things. So I thought she might be here. I thought she might be moved to maybe 7 mana or 8 mana. But she stayed in. So she's still good. So that deck is still okay. But the big winners in all of this are Warlock and people who hate Patches and Pirates. But 100% Warlock is going to be the favorite class. And once again, Hunter. I'm a Hunter player, but Hunter's still going to be trash tier. It's been trash tier for over a year and a half, two years. It's going to continue to be trash tier. That's all I can say. So that's my evaluation of the nerfs. They've come, they're going to hit, they're coming next month. Save your dust. Don't forget to disenchant them once the nerf hits because you get full dust back. This is just my opinion. I want to hear your opinion. Are you happy with the nerfs? Are you angry with the nerfs? Do you think Blizzard should do more nerfs, less nerfs? Tell me down in the comment section. I'm interested to see. Please don't forget that I'm posting new content, new videos every two days or every couple of days. So if you like what you see, if you like what you hear, why not subscribe to the channel? Because it really does help. And that's about it. Bilishka Vava. Ow.